Today we're going to be showcasing Nintendo Arm Wrestling in Doug's Home Arcade. Uh, this is a game that I had been looking for for many, many years. This was made in 1985. I had picked this game up in around uh, the mid-90s or so, right around there. And I've had it uh, all these years. It's now 2020. And this was a game that everybody wants to know if I would ever get rid of, and the answer is definitely never. Very rare machine. Uh, these arm wrestling games were not a dedicated machine. It was a conversion kit for Super Punch-Outs. So this particular machine, I don't know if it was a Punch-Out converted to a Super Punch-Out, but I would say it was a Super Punch-Out converted to an arm wrestling. Uh, the reason for that would mainly be because of the joystick. Punch-Out uh, had a different joystick than Super Punch-Out, and the big reason was because of the pull-up on the joystick. That move on Super Punch-Out was used for a, a duck move. In arm wrestling, it's used to catch the money bag, and you'll see that later on in the video. Now, this uh, particular uh, machine, I... Uh, had bought and it needed a monitor on the top. It was pretty burned out because as you can see the screen does not move at all. So the image was pretty burned up on it. So actually I did pick up a Super Punch-Out and did a uh, monitor swap and got rid of the Super Punch-Out and put that monitor in this arm wrestling. It's been working perfectly uh, basically for over the pretty much 25 years I've owned uh, this machine and uh, this was not a game that I played as a kid. I had uh, $2 at the last me all day. I remember when this game came out, there was one arcade that had it near me in 1985. And uh, I was watching people playing. I said, no, I'm not even going to bother tackling this game. It looks too confusing. So I said no. Uh, but I did have a friend that I met uh, some years uh, later. Maybe, about, maybe uh, let's see, this would be about 87. And uh, he actually played a lot of this game at the time, back when it came out. And he, we did run into another machine and at another arcade, and uh, I learned how to play it from him. And I got really good at this game. But then it was really hard to find these. They were starting to disappear, so I remember kind of driving around uh, from town to town, just trying to find one of these still in arcades uh, to play, because I, I got hooked on it all of a sudden. And then... Um, I was uh, later on uh, definitely on the prowl to look for one, uh, and when I finally got this one around, uh, yeah, around 90, or the mid 90s or so, I said, I am so happy I got one of these, and I'll never get rid of it. And it's been a great game. A lot of friends come over. I teach them how to play it, and it's kind of one of the games that seems to be the big um, hit in uh, in my home arcade. So we're going to go ahead and pause for uh, just a moment, and uh, I'll get a game going so you can uh, see what this game's all about. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go over a few items on how to play this game so you know what I'm doing. So a lot of people don't understand how to play it. So basically, there's going to be a best record. The lowest time will display uh, for each character, and uh, that's only in round one. When you go to round two, there's no more records, I guess. Uh, Nintendo didn't think anyone was going to get that far on this machine, and that was kind of the, the case back in the day. And uh, it will also, you can, even if you don't beat that record, um, the game will keep up to a total of four records for each character, and uh, that will display in a, a screen after this is done here. So the whole object of the game is to try to get the, uh, the power built up, and that's how you get the most power to knock them over. And uh, so there's the records right there. And um, you do that by basically, you got the, uh, the counter attack, which is move the joystick to the right. Uh, you'll see some um, bonus points pop up above the uh, character's head. And it's all about a matter of timing. Now here at the beginning, you can go too early. Um, and if so, actually, that could hurt you. Uh, if you get the timing just right, you can knock him down in one second, and that's possible. And I've done that a few times. And... Um, or you're too late and you just get a really bad start and you don't get that, that big power boost at the, uh, the beginning. So it's just all a matter of timing. Uh, so when you hit that counter, you're going to tap on the button and the button will collect whatever you see up on the top here. So it's just a matter of uh, timing and speed 
and know when to do the counter and also when to basically do the uh, attack uh, action which is moving the joystick uh, to the left and the faster you can do that the more uh, points you can build up and you'll see that uh, pop up as well. So I've got my uh, tokens uh, ready so we'll get a game started. We have been waiting Let's see for if we get any records today. So my friend Rat, he's uh, 310 on the high. Let's see if we can beat him. Friend, uh, this code name. Uh, he actually is the one that taught me how to play this game. He's also uh, up here at eight, uh, 858. Sometimes it doesn't hold up, sometimes it goes straight down. You have to catch the money. If you got the record, and you didn't catch the money, you're not going to get the record. You lose it. basically. Oh, 
Well, it's gonna run out of time, so there's no way I can fit now. Out of time. Now I can do a rematch. You only get so many rematches. So I'll see if we can get him. We have been waiting for you. I came in second place overall score didn't beat my first one so uh, that's all we have for uh, today so I hope you enjoyed the video on Nintendo Armor Slam